Hello, everyone, and welcome to Star Wars Real Talk. We're here in the Real Talk corner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a name. Am I supposed to have a name? Should I have it? Is that done? Okay, I'm moving on. Uh, I'm really excited today to share with you guys a product that was sent to me. Um, it's the first time a company has sent me a product on the Star Wars channel to review, so I'm really excited about that. Um, it also takes the sting out of YouTube not monetizing my channel. So the only time that I have ever profited off of this channel was from your generous donations. Um, to those of you that have donated, thank you so much. It has helped with the monetization struggle, but a lot of those worries are behind me now because of Saber Forms. Now they sent me this. I was so excited when I saw this. I, I was coming home from work and I just saw this on my doorstep and it was just like, it was like Christmas. I was so excited. I actually wasn't even like sure that it was like legit, like that they were actually going to send me something. So I'm so excited that they did. Um, yeah, again, that's Saber Forms. I'll put that on the screen there. Um, so in the description, there will be a link. I'll try and put it in the comment section too. Um, I'm recording this off air and then I'm going to upload it when I'm done. I just don't want to get distracted with comments or anything like that. But uh, yeah, through the link, you will. I think it'll take you to the Saber that I got. Um, and right now, if you go through that link, it'll be 40% off that Saber um, and an additional 10% off if you use this uh, discount code. I know it's a little, a little long, but you can just copy paste it. It'll be in the description. So combine 50% off. Now, when I saw that initially, I was thinking, this is going to be a super budget cheap lightsaber. Um, it's not. It's it's the, the quality is actually surprising. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. So, immediately what I noticed is it's got some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like solid metal. It does, it does feel like high quality. It's surprising that it costs as much as it does. Um, yeah, I'm super impressed so far. So, it comes with the blade, obviously, but it also came with this, um, which I believe you put into the top. I actually haven't done this yet. I wanted to test this out um, on here. So, this, this button does it all. With the amount of controls that like this thing has, the amount of functions, there's the whole little manual thing here. It's crazy how much they've packed into this little saber. So to turn it on, we're just going to hold it down. Power on. Power on. <laughs> but once you do this, it's in standby mode. So then you just turn it on. You just heard it turn on. So what this piece is, it's kind of like a display piece. If I can get the camera to focus on that. So if you just wanted to display it, you can already hear that. It sounds pretty good, hey? See, it's like a looks like a shotgun shell. I don't want to like blind you, but this light is serious. All right. So to turn it off, there's a couple of different ways to turn it off. The easiest way is just to hold it down. Okay. So I'm just going to turn this thing right off because I want to put the blade in and I don't want to... Uh, keep accidentally turning it on so super easy putting the blade on it's got a couple little screw things here um, I will say I had a bit of a hard time figuring this thing out um, the manual shows you how to take everything apart which is super helpful but it didn't really um, help me understand how the whole thing goes together not that there's like a ton of pieces but I was just confused I'm like is this supposed to go somewhere I don't know but uh I'm figuring it out now, so you don't have to. Oh, before I put the blade in, actually, what's really cool is that this thing, like, straight out of, like, Force Awakens, it, like, totally comes apart. You can hear that. It's metal, man. So there's a compartment in the bottom. I remind myself to do this on camera here. Okay. This is, like, where the battery is in there kind of like maybe I should screw it back together as I go because I don't want to like forget how it goes together <laughs> no it's super simple and then I think there's one more piece that comes apart here Let's 
see this is the uh, the electronics of it so basically the lightsaber makes contact with those prongs this is a see-through piece so this saber doesn't belong to anyone I believe it has the name um, awaken I think that's what it's called let me just go to the tab here yeah could make for a good Christmas gift man okay so there's a metal piece on the bottom that connects with those metal prongs Make sure it goes all the way into the bottom. So, two little screws. It comes with a couple extra because if you're a caveman like me who loses these things or strips them because of my insane brute raw strength, I'll always find a way to strip a screw. I like to think that I'm getting better with that, but I don't know. Okay, so now it's in. Um, my first what happened to me was it felt a little bit like loose like it was going to fall out and that just told me that um i had to just tighten it a little bit more um so it's not like a shaky saber it just has to be securely tightened okay so right now i have this on like the basic setting oh, distracted by my stars so when i turn it on i have it like on the Basically, you can choose, I think it's called the, uh, like, the boot, the boot up, right? How the blade comes out. There's, like, a ton of different variations. You can totally customize this thing. It's not, like, one person's saber. It can be whatever, whoever saber you want. You just have to customize it. Okay. Oh, we're on. Oh, we're on. Oh, we lost a Darth Vader Lego figurine. <laughs> Damn. How sick is this thing? You see the price on this? It's crazy. So if I hold it still, you can see it's kind of like flickering. So it has motion control, right? That's a big thing. If you want to feel like a kid again, I was so giddy when I got this thing, man. I was playing, I was playing in my living room with this thing for like probably 45 minutes straight. And I will say that my wrist got really sore because I was practicing lightsaber moves, which I will do a video on eventually. But uh, your wrist has to like get loose enough to like spin this thing and do to do tricks with. So yeah, <laughs> bit of a heads up. Okay, so what's cool about this thing is because of the motion controls. Hang on. So I could shake it up and it'll come out. And I could shake it down and it'll come in. See? Pretty cool. All right. So, you just gotta remember that because right now it's in standby mode. So, you can like trigger the motion controls to, to turn it back on. So, it has a couple other motion controls. Like, like if you hold this button down, that's usually what you have to do. Hold the button down, it'll like trigger like different things. So, if I hold the button and do like this, it'll do like a. Like if you were blocking something, right? Blocking another saber, you can hear that grinding sound. Or it has like a function where you can stab it and it'll do like a thing, like it's like melting a door, like Qui-Gon, right? Or it can do a thing where it's like dragging on the ground. So you gotta mess around with the settings a little bit. Um, I could sit here all day and go through all the settings, but what I am gonna do is show you the important ones. I wrote them down here so I could see them easily. Uh, they're all in this little manual here. so. Don't throw it out when you get the saber. It takes some time to learn it. So I like the blue. And I think I have it set to Anakin's saber sound. But what you can do is you can find defaults for anyone you want. And it'll like preset the default. So you don't have to customize anything. Or you can pick your sound, your lightsaber hum, your color, the boot up effect, everything. You can totally customize this thing. But you just have to have the patience to sit there and do it. Okay, so... This is what confused me about this. It has two different modes. It has on mode and standby mode. Right now it's in standby mode. So in standby mode, we have the boot up, uh, the sound effects, and well, like just, well, I'll just show you. Okay. So the boot, we'll hold it down and it'll flash twice. It'll be kind of hard to see with my thumb. Two. 
So now I've changed the light, the, the boot up. So now a different effect will come on when I turn it on. A little more cinematic, right? So now we're not in standby anymore. So we have to go back to standby. Let's do it one more time. Let's do a different boot up. One, two. Now we're in ignition three. Okay, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. All right. So just, yeah, it does change uh, how it goes in and how it goes out. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's change the uh, sound effect. One, two, three flashes. I've changed the audio. See, I wouldn't leave this boot up because it takes too long. It is really cool. Check this out, man. It's rainbow. <laughs> How cool is that? If you think it looks cool on camera, let's see what it looks like. Look at that. How sick is that? That's, that's hilarious, man. This looks cool. See, I feel like a kid again. One, two, three. Five. I want to change the boot up too, though. The other one's too long. This is. I don't like this effect. It's you probably the camera probably doesn't even pick it up. It's like a. It's like a literal strobe. One, two, three. And change the boot up. So this one is like, it's like flickering randomly in different places. So man, it's totally up to you. Oh, that's a feature I was going to get to later. Okay, let's do the last one here. Let's change our sound effect. One, two, three, four flashes. You hear that? So, we'll do a more obvious one. So this is doing a preset. Kenobi. Kenobi. <laughs> Guess whose saber that is. So now we got a red, and as you can tell, it changes the hum, right? How it waves around. Everything changes, which is cool. So if you have a favorite, you can just find that preset. So I've been kind of messing around. I have, I'm a huge Vader fan, so I was messing around with Darth Vader a lot. I think I messed up. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. That's Dark Sith Red. Dark Sith Red. <laughs> Don't know who that is. Yoda. There's there's a ton of these. I sat here so long cycling through them. The only downside is that you have to cycle through them all, right? Unless you, like, memorize them, or I'm sure you could, like, probably find a guide as to what's what, and then you can, like, really... Like, once you get the hang of it, you can cycle through it really fast. You don't have to listen and check the saber color. It's a lot faster once you get used to it. Okay, let's leave it at Yoda. Okay. So, saber lock, there's a motion control for it. Hold it once. So we're clashing with another saber or we're absorbing lightning. So we got Yoda's lightsaber, but let's say that uh, I want a different color. We'll hold it twice. One, two. Now it's gonna cycle through all the colors. And there are a ton of them. Like every color has like different shades too. Red, pink, blue, purple, white, yellow. Darker yellow, purple, white. Let's leave it at green. This green looks really nice. And then, um, if you notice, 
Nothing's happening when it makes contact, right? I was a little bit worried about that when I got it until I realized that that's a setting that you turn off and on. And surprisingly, I leave it off most of the time because if I'm practicing tricks, I'm like bumping into myself and hitting the floor and stuff like that. By the way, this thing has taken a beating <laughs> on my walls and floor and furniture, and it is tough. You could, I, th I think this is a, like a, a combat saber. Let me actually check. Um, I think they do work for combat. It's pretty tough. It's got a lot of five star reviews, man. It's on, it has only five star reviews based on 62 reviews. That's crazy. Okay, so let's turn it on. One, two, three. Okay, see that? It's probably hard to tell, like, with the webcam, but it does. Okay, it, it does make contact when you touch it, but it's not, um, it will flash in a random spot every time. It's not consistent with where you touch it. I don't care about that really, since I leave it off most of the time. But uh, you might care. Okay. I just I can't get enough of this, man. It is it is so fun. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go off script here. And. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little demo. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you my terrible moves. This is why you gotta remember it's a standby mode. <laughs> I'm gonna set it down. Oh, it also comes with a, a charger in case you're wondering about the power requirements. Just it's last it's never died on me. I just plug it in occasionally and it char charges up and now. Um so yeah, description. We'll put that up again. Uh it's in the yeah, the link will be in the description. Uh, combination of using the link and this code will give you 50% off the saber. For the lights, I've held off for so many years buying a lightsaber because I always thought that they were, if you wanted a good one, you had to spend some decent money. Otherwise, you're going to get cheap crap. But uh, this is perfect for me, man. This is this is great. I had my friends over the other day, a bunch of uh, football players that I, I used to play football with. And uh, we were having some beers and whatever, and I came to show them the new studio and my new lightsaber. And we're a bunch, you know, football players, a bunch of tough bravado guys. We were just like kids playing with this thing. We we're taking turns, swinging it around. It was just, it was so wholesome. And, uh, you know, it, it did kind of remind me that's what Star Wars is about, you know. So um, I'll tell you, man, it's it just awakens something in you. Even if you're not a big Star Wars fan, it's fun to go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I've been practicing a, a couple of different ones. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a feature for blocking blaster fire. You just tap the button. It'll light up in a random spot. So I've learned a lot about where to balance it in your hand. It is hard. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty tough. So there's one move that I've been practicing. It goes down like this behind your back. Then you pull it up. It's like the obi Annie spin. That's why I turn off the uh, sound effects, the touch. I'm bumping into myself all the time. Yeah. Oh, well. Pretty sure if this was a real lightsaber, I would have cut my legs off like 20 times there. But that's it. That's the saber. That is my review of it. Thank you, Saber Forms, for sending this to me. It's all in the description, guys. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the Discord. Join the Discord if you haven't. Okay, it's a nice saber. Shiny. Comfortable metal. Feels comfortable. It's not too heavy. It feels the appropriate length. It's a good saber. And uh, I'll recommend it, man. Not just because they sent it to me. I'm being honest. If you want a lightsaber and you don't want to spend a lot of money, man, this is the one to get. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah.
That's about all I got to say. May the force be with you.